Hello everyone, it's me Oxy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a light switch inside of Rec Room using CV1 animation chips and CV2. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into the tutorial. Before we get started with the tutorial, we're going to enable CV2. To enable CV2, you just click on your watch, this room, settings, general setup, go to the second page of room settings and check allow creative tools beta content on. Now click apply settings. It'll give you this and then you click okay and your room should reset. Now that your room is reset, you have CV2 enabled. So now I'm gonna show you how to pull out your maker pin. We're gonna pull out our maker pin by going to backpack, tools, and click use on the maker pin. Now that you have your maker pin, you can now look at your maker pin, open your palette, and see the CV2 menu, Circuits V2. Here are all the CV2 chips we'll be using in today's tutorial, as well as the page numbers they're on. So now we're going to pull out our maker pin by looking at our watch, going to backpack, and then clicking use. Now we're going to open up our palette and go to the sixth page to find the instance boolean. Now we're going to spawn that in right there. Next we're going to find the if chip also at page 6. You can spawn that in too. Next we're going to find the set value chips on page 13. There we go. Now we need two of these so we're going to spawn in two. That's all the chips you'll need to turn the light on and off. Now we're going to get the chips that we need to switch the color of the light. So as you can see, we need an instance integer one on page seven. Now there's the instance integer. Now we need the add chip. You can find that chip on page one. Add. Gonna spawn it in. Next we need one more set value chip. So we're just going to use the clone tool to clone one of these and then we're gonna move it over here now you have all of your CV2 chips you'll need for this tutorial next we're gonna be going over the CV1 gizmos and gadgets that you'll need here are the CV1 gadgets and gizmos we'll need we'll need a CV1 animation chip and a CV1 trigger volume now I'll show you exactly where to find these items first we're gonna open our watch get our makeup pin again Open up our palette and then we're going to go to gadgets. Now for the animation chip, we're gonna to go to gizmos and then we'll have the CV1 animation gizmo. We're gonna put this gizmo over here with our other things. Next, we're gonna need a trigger volume. So we're gonna to go to other gadgets and then we're gonna use just the regular trigger volume V1. So we're gonna put these this over here with our other. Okay, there we have our CV1 trigger volume. Next, I'll be showing you the CV2 gadgets and gizmos we'll be using. Our final set of gadgets we'll need is two trigger volume version 2s and a point light version 2. I'll show you exactly where to find these. So we have our palette open and we're going to spawn in our circuits V2 gadgets. So we'll need a point light V2 and we'll need a trigger volume 2. You see that right there and then we'll need a second one so now I'm gonna take a second to organize all of my chips and I'll see you in the next clip to make our light switch we'll just need to open our palette use a cube and then I'm going to get a gray kind of backdrop using the glossy plastic material so let me first make that using grid the grid option on my maker pen which is right there so now I'm going to take this and move this to close to my wall. Boom. Now I'm going to be making a frame for my lights. So I'm going to use the glossy plastic again and use the white material color, sorry, to make our light switch. So. We have that, that's gonna be the top of our switch. So now I'm just going to clone this, move it over, rotate it. 
move it over then move it down we're a little off so we're just gonna move that over one more Sorry. okay next I'm going to clone this and move it over now we're lined up there so now I'm going to clone this down and then I'm going to rotate it again okay now I'm gonna move this up and I'm gonna move this over now we have a frame for our light switch so first we're gonna use a simple tube and just go down through the top side and then we're just gonna go out so now we have this square what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and rotate it to where it's kind of it's kind of off center it's kind of off right there so now you have that little on and off position that we're going to be animating now that you have your shape of the uh, light switch how you like it we're going to now be using our animation chip to get this to animate back and forth before we do this you're gonna have to make sure that this object right here is a different object from these so you're just gonna split these shapes from this one so now we're just going to use the wire tool to wire this to that thing right there and now we have it uh, I guess you could say connected so now we're going to use the edit tool and then we're going to add a frame so I'm sorry I added one but we're going to add a frame we're gonna have one frame so now I'm going to make sure I'm on grid snapping and then I'm going to rotate this out so I'm gonna rotate it to a way that I like it so I think that looks pretty much like what I want so I'm just gonna move this back sorry make sure you're on grid so as you can see I didn't get that right so I'm just going to rotate it one more time and boom it's in the opposite state so now I'm going to configure my animation gizmo and I'm going to put the speed percentage to 999 that's gonna make it go really fast we're going to set it to ping pong playback mode and then we're going to cl click the check mark on stop at end and stop at start now that you have your animation set up with your animation gizmo we're gonna need something to connect these two so now this is where our trigger volume version 1 comes into play you can differ a trigger volume version 1 by these little three arrows right here so we're going to scale this down exponentially to fit a shape like our uh, like our switch so now I'm going to just continue to make this smaller and fit the form of our light switch so now that I have a I guess thing that I like I'm going to use the wire tool to wire when entering zone to play now when I stick my hand inside of the sugar volume it will switch now you have a working switch next we're going to get our circuits v2 point light to play and turn on and off once we press this so we'll be doing that now now I'm going to teach you how to make the point light turn on and off so we're going to take out our wire tool and then we're going to wire player entered to if so if the player enters and then we're going to wire boolean to the variables and the condition so now we're going to make it if then it's false you're going to turn the light on and then you're going to if it's else you're going to set the value to off make sure this value is set to true by wiring that now your point light should turn on and off Next, I'm going to be showing you how to change the color using these chips right here. To change the color of the point light, we're going to first wire our instance integer to our value, to our variable, and to our color. So now we're going to set our value to set color. And then we're going to 
change our value to one. So it goes up by one value every time we press the trigger volume. So one. Now we're going to take that sum and then put it into the variable. Now we're going to put when the player enters the trigger volume, it's going to set the value to one so it can change the color of the point light. You can see right now. The light should be changing as you put your hand through it. So that's how to turn it on and turn it off. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to link them together to your animation. So when you press your animation chip, it, the light will go on and off as you press it. To do that is very simple. First, we're going to move our trigger volume to turn the light on and off over here where our animation chip is. So I'm going to rotate this and we're going to move this back. Next, we're going to move the trigger volume chip to get the trigger volume just by itself. So now we're going to move this up and back. And now we're going to use the manipulate tool to manipulate it down to a size that fits our light switch. So now we're going to manipulate it down smaller. And now Sorry, that's a little bit off. <laughs> We're going to move this over slightly. And now whenever I put my hand inside, the light is going to turn on and off, on and off, on and off with the switch. So it's basically just turning as I go. Next, we're going to get a text. So we're going to type in text. And then we're going to set it right here beside our switch. Next, we're going to configure this and we're going to change our text to color. Now that our text is switched to co color and we pressed OK, we're going to move our color trigger volume over here. So as you move, the panel will go with you, the circuit board, if you call it. So we're going to move it back along with this, and we're going to put it inside of the color button. So we're just going to move this over here just so we can get it singled out. And boom, we also have our color button. So whenever we turn this on and we click the color, it will switch as according to we put it in by one. Now you can place your point light wherever you'd like in your room. So you can get that eliminating glue. <laughs> now we have it up here and you can see if we configure it, we can turn its intensity up and down and we can turn its range up and down. So I'm going to turn its intensity down and its range up. And whenever I click my switch, light turns off. Or I click it again, the light turns on. As always, thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And if you really want to help me out more, you can go to the Rec Room Discord and give my video a check mark. This has been Oxy with how to make a light switch using Circuits V1 animation chips and Circuits V2. Peace.